Hello everyone, my name is Angie and I am Studio Red Art. Today I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to do a bullet journal video. If you don't know what bullet journaling is, I'm going to add a link to the description below and an iCard. It is a system of organizing your thoughts, lists, to-dos, plans, and calendar planner all in one for a digital world, all into a regular notebook. There are lots of other videos, other groups, other Pinterest. Actually, I found it on Pinterest. It was really funny. I was not even looking for planning ideas. It just popped up as a sponsored pin. I was like, what the heck is a bullet journal? So I Googled it and then within 30 minutes, I was making this into a bullet journal. This is a eight and a half by 11 notebook I got at Walmart. I spent less than $2 on it. As you can see, I've definitely blinged it up and, and uh, personalized it. I bought it for an original idea that I found on the Get to Work book. They had a weekly layout that I liked and they had a top three items that if you got it done that week, your week was successful. So I bought this for that and I'll show you here. Again, I, yes, I'm a dork and a nerd. So this is the opening of the first page. I have my information in case I ever get lost. This is by Blue Sky and it's their Smart Notes book. Like I said, I paid less than $2 for this. I'm not sure if it was on clearance or what, but I really like it. You'll see it has grid pages and lined pages. So, calendars, dates and addresses, and then you'll see here that I originally had made my weekly layout on this page and was going to do my notes on this page. So this is what I started the very, the day I bought this, I did the first two layouts. That very night I discovered bullet journaling and have not looked back since. So this is my bullet journal. As you can see, I did break up my index by collection and by calendar. I find that works a little bit better for me. I mostly do the tasks the same way as um, writer does. The only thing I do differently is with my notes. When I have transferred it into a collection, I make it into a hashtag. So that way I know that it has been migrated to where it needs to be. So I gave myself plenty of room for index. Here is my future log, nothing too fancy. Uh, I didn't buy anything extra for this bullet journal. Everything I have, everything I use is what I already had. I'm an artist, I've been an artist for about 10 years, so I had plenty of washi tape and other things to pimp, pimp my bullet journal. So my future log, nothing too fancy. You can see my chicken scratch, but it gets the job done and that's what's important. That's the reason I'm doing this uh, video is because I'm seeing a lot of people afraid to get started because they're afraid it's not gonna be pretty. They're afraid it's not gonna be perfect. And, and then they're not artistic and to heck with that. Do your bullet journal the way you wanna do it and just be happy with that because I tell you what, this system is awesome and I have been using it for about a month now and it has honestly changed my life. I feel so much more calm because I know what's going on, when I need to be, where I need to be, and how I need to be. So here is my first monthly, my first monthly spread. I kept it just the same as Ryder does on his video. Um, I found I didn't really use the uh, to-do list part of March, so I just turned it into a future planning for April and ideas I wanted to do differently. Here is my first weekly spread. I did, the, again, this is me following writer system almost to the T, where I would start on Monday and I would just fill it in. Oh, nice green hand. <laughs> uh, as I would fill it in as needed. Um, I found that, you'll see here, that my days kind of kept getting longer and or I kept repeating the same thing over and over again. I didn't like that. So you'll see that in a few weeks here I change over. In all my tabs, I have three very important tabs. I am a, I'm the design team leader for Riley and & Company and Cornish Heritage Farms. So these are work tabs that I'm always referencing for things I need to do and keep track of. And you'll notice I have a tab here and a tab here because I have to get to this page in a flash. But again, it's work, so I can't show you. Uh, this is a vacation in June. My brother and I are going to the DC again. So vacation planning. This is my crochet projects page, and I, I specifically wanted to show this page for my really terrible doodle. It's supposed to be a Mega Man hat, and <laughs> this I just quickly did a doodle just so I wouldn't forget what it's supposed to look like. It is not at all representative of what the end product's going to look like, but that's okay. And a quick notes and some notes on like how I want to achieve the effect that I, I'm going for here. Uh, quotes, I gave myself four quote pages because I love quotes. 
And I mean, I've only been using it for a month and I've already got a whole page filled up. <clears throat> and my washi tape is not color coordinated, not, doesn't symbolize anything. It's just pretty. Books to read list, because I'm an avid reader. Stamp ideas. I work for a rubber stamp company. So whenever I have an idea that I need to write down, I put it down here. Art journal ideas for making my own art journal layouts. Journal 52 prompts. It's a Facebook group where they would do prompts every week to do uh, art journal pages. So this is where I write them down and any ideas I have of what I want to do. This is another game I do. It's very silly. I won't go into it, but I track it nonetheless. Again, another work page. I'll take that off. This is books I've read just in the month of March because this is when I started this journal. So I, I'm just doing a simple list, name, author, how many stars, and I started tracking when I finished them. That's it. This is, I'm very proud of this page because even though I'm an artist, I don't really draw. So I allowed myself a page to just draw. This was completely out of my head. This is from a little game I play. Again, out of my head. That was the washi tape you saw a few pages ago. Out of my head. I'm very proud of this. This is my first face I ever drew. Um, after I watched Dina Wakeley's How to Draw Faces video. I did this in less than 10 minutes, and that's drawing and coloring. You can do it too. Google Dina Wakeley. It's awesome. Here's a brain dump page. Uh, I couldn't sleep one day, so I just woke up, or got up, wrote down what was in my mind, and actually was able to go right back to sleep. Practicing my letters. I had originally designed this page to be a place where I can practice my handwriting, but I find I'm doing it in another notebook because I use so much paper that I don't want to waste all of my bullet journal on just practicing my handwriting. Here is my second weekly spread. As you can see, I'm getting a little more colorful. I had joined the bullet, bullet journal junkies website, um, started using my washi tape that I had. And you can see that it, it's, it's evolving. Like again, I had a lot of things here and then slowly as the week, the, paid, the, the days get smaller because I'm not migrating. I'm just looking to see, oh yeah, I haven't done this. So again, I was tra tracking my water, I tracked the weather. Uh, this is the Boho Berry time tracker, time scheduler. Doesn't work for me. <laughs> I just don't work like that. Um, some simple doodles, pie day, I voted in the primary that day. Just, you know, very basic, but yet some color. Here is my 100 salads page. I am do challenging myself to eat 100 salads this year in 2016. I got the idea from a good friend of mine who his challenge last year was to eat 350 cent tacos in the year of 2015, and he did. Uh, I just picked salads because I'm good at eating my vegetables, but I'm not always good about eating salads. So this is just a fun way to make salads more of a habit. And I am a little behind. I need to get on that. Uh, card ideas for when I am either have an idea of a card I want to make or I need inspiration. So I am a card maker podcasts I want to look into. This is a non-perishable back stock, which I haven't filled it in yet. Um, my income is not consistent, so when I have extra money, I like to stock up on certain things, so that way I have it when I need it. My third weekly spread, I decided to make it a one-page spread, and I love it. because So instead of migrating tasks from day to day, I can just see it all in one, and I don't have a big blank space to fill in because I, I have the need to fill things in. So this, uh, this is working really well for me. I use some stamps I had, some more washi tape, paint pen. Just just have fun with it. I really like it. Uh, I created a, <laughs> a future bullet journal idea page. Uh, I'm, if, if I do, if I keep going like I've been going, I should only, should, this should last me the rest of the year. I shouldn't need another bullet journal. But I, don't panic on the cover. <laughs> and I found my don't panic sticker. <laughs> um, another work page that I can't show you. All right. And this is another weekly spread. Again, I'm a little more simple. I tried to track water, but I just didn't. Um, again, I'm, I'm not overloading myself, but it's also a good way to track certain things. Like I had my ear infection hit. This week, it actually had been building for a couple days, and then that's the day it really hit me. So it's kind, of, it's kind of nice to track those things for future reference. And you'll notice this is not perfect. I am not being overly artistic or anything else. 
here is my April 2016 layout. As you can see, I combined all this green, my green hands. Um, I combined the monthly and my to dos, and I'm really liking that. And I, I also bookmarked it so I can uh, reference it quickly. And this is my note to myself to warn you that I am, like I said, I'm an artist. I've been doing this, been doing art, card making, scrapbooking, mixed media for about 10 years now. So I have a lot of play tools <laughs> and, and toys. So you're going to see that here in a minute. So this is bleed through from a, a page. I did an April tracker where I'm tracking certain things. Nothing too fancy, just to see, just to see how, how it is and hopefully inspire myself. Uh, this little stamp, I love this stamp. This is Joe the Cupcake. I mean, look at him. How cute is he? He's so pathetic. So I decided to use him. And then this is bleed through on the other page. I used Sharpies to color him in and it bled through. So I just outlined him and made a Joe on this page as well. This is my current weekly page. I know it's crazy and that's okay. I decided to have a little fun. I got my ink sprays out. That's the circle stamp, the daily stamps. I use paint pens, my little Joe stamps. I mean, I, I just decided to have a lot of fun with it and it makes me happy. It's very different compared to say this week's. It's the same format. It's just differently done. Really enjoying that. My bookmark that I, it's just ribbon that I taped into the back of the book. And yeah, I had a little bleed through, but if you art journal or do mixed media, you'll, this is something you'll see a lot. It just, and you just have to learn to accept it. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with that, but apparently that's where I got my green hands from because I was messing with it. <laughs> and then I have, let's see here. So this is page 57 <clears throat> and all the way to page 145 is all blank. So I have plenty of room and for the rest of the year, um, notes for a new job. Here is a goal tracker, savings goal tracker, that hopefully I'll be able to start here in the next week or two. Here is a master to-do list for items that I want to get done, but that they don't have to be on a specific timeline. And or, you know, hey, I could do this. And, you know, so this is what this is. Um, another work thing, another work thing. And my bookmark, my uber fancy bookmark. Oops, as I take it off. It's just taped on there, nothing's fancy. This is a piece of cardstock that I poked holes and put brads through and taped it up with, with washi tape so it'd be cute. This pen holder I got, I believe from somebody on the Facebook group. It's just, it's just a, a binder clip that I hot glued some ribbon to and it just it sits on my book. You don't need a super fancy book. So I hope this was helpful, I hope this um, helped people not feel like they have to be super duper creative or perfect or have pretty handwriting or whatever. It's your bullet journal. It's your life. Make it yours and then just enjoy the system. Enjoy the feeling of knowing what you have. So I hope that helped. If not, uh, if you have any questions or anything, leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you and have a good day.